Good evening, lords and ladies. DJ Craigie here with the Progeny Behind the Fang podcast. Joining me as always, my amazing wife and co-host, Ming Chao, Neapolitan Wu. Joining us this awesome fall evening is Infernal Lady Sin. Welcome. Hello, and thank you for having me. Hello, and welcome to the podcast. It's an honor to have you as our guest. Thank you for joining us. Likewise, thank you for having me. That sounds like we're eating you for dinner, but we're not, people. I swear, <laughs> it. I swear that sound that came out wrong. <laughs> Welcome to you, Lady Sin. We are excited. Okay. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, we'll just jump right in then. So please, if you would, um, tell us a little about yourself and your current role in the progeny system. Okay, well, hello to everybody out there in the realm. My name is Sen. For those of you who do not know me, it's Sen Eldritch Forsaken Leber. Uh, I'm a sovereign of the Royal Insidious Order in the Forsaken Bloodline, and I've been there for a little over a year. And as mentioned, I am Infernal for Diabolic Antonia, and I lead the Usher's Guild for her, and sometimes run amok. <laughs> Well, that sounds fun. It does. <laughs> it most definitely is. <laughs> we love Diabolic Antonio. We just got the pleasure of speaking to her recently on an interview, and we were able to keep our eyeballs. So we <laughs> feel grateful, but she's amazing. We're huge fans of hers. No kebabs this Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. And, it, and if she's listening to this and she does need to take some eyeballs... Please take Craig's first, please. I beg of you. <laughs> yeah, it's only very seldom that she actually uh, devours an usher, so we're quite lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is good. That's perfect. Now, speaking of uh, the Usher's Guild, then, let's get into that. So, tell us about the Usher's Guild and how it works. Okay, well, the community lands of Progeny are vast, and it's easy for the uninitiated to lose their way in the lands and never be heard from again. So to remedy this and to save on cost of recovering emaciated skeletons, the great <laughs> diabolic Antonia and her infinite powers that dwell in the depths of hell and this, uh, instituted the uh, Progeny Usher's Guild to help uh, guide the many throughout the realm. Those select few vampires and theriotropes of intelligence and good character that are skilled in the area of greeting and guiding those visiting our homelands are called ushers. It's a role of great esteem. Uh, the progeny ushers are points of contacts of the lands and the lights and the darkness and for all the progeny community without regard to species, gender, sexual preference, religion, nation of origin, or any other differentiating factor. We try to serve everybody. Okay. Wow. They are totally impartial and they can take you anywhere you need to go. And yes, we've seen some of those skeletons around. <laughs> it happens Horrible. quite frequently, especially with the amazing new Sims that we have. Yes. Well, it, it's much like, you know, Disneyland. Some of the skeletons are real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. Talking heads, right? Yes, and I can get lost in a fishbowl, so says my mama. So I'm really happy when I can call down an usher to help me with stuff. It's amazing. Good. We do. We all enjoy helping, and I have an amazing team. Yeah. Speaking about the um, team, what are the actual like requirements for one to um, join the ushers guild and actually become an usher? All right. Well, first, you have to have a pretty good knowledge of progeny system as a whole. Uh, mm -hmm. You can find our web application, and we're going to provide that link hopefully here below. Yes. Um, or you can contact the guild office or uh, at the progeny castle or our informal recruiting parcel where we have recruiting events. Um, the best course of action is to reach out to uh, Red, Red Wolf, Aldrich, Wolfsung. Mm -hmm. um, he is my senior usher of recruiting, and he is amazing. Um, but we like to see, at the very least, a uh, mature age status in the mm -hmm. system of at least 30 days. Older is even better. Um, so, 
Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. With a little experience behind you, I got it. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. A little knowledge goes a long way. Absolutely. Yes. So besides like saving lives not turning, you know, visitors into skeletons and such. Um, how do you feel the Usher's Guild benefits the community at large? Like, this is a very valuable service, so we want to let the community know. Not a lot of people know about this. I mean, the Usher Guilds as a whole are beacons in the darkness, if you will. Um, we're here to assist in any way that we can, be it from simply giving a tour of the museum, walking through... Um, walking somebody through the use of an, an artifact or contacting somebody for assistance that needs it, uh, greeting and reaching out during events. Uh, ushers are an important face of progeny. Without us, many people would be wandering the realm lost, starving for knowledge. <laughs> oh, I've gotten lost in that castle Absolutely, many yes. times. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah, another amazing thing that the, the Usher Guild allows for is the opportunity to meet many different system players. Uh, we have the ability to get to know individuals uh, one normally might not be able to. So, in a sense, we're kind of liaisons to the many. That's very true. Very true. I like that. I, I never even thought of it that way. You get to meet new and interesting players. and hmm. Especially at all the events, I bet, when you guys are grading people and stuff, when they're coming in. I mean, that sounds like a really fun job. Yes, it is. It is actually quite fun. Yeah, we get to go to all the cool parties. <laughs> yes. Well, so with the new familiar group in place and actively recruiting, what um, part will the Usher's Guild play, if any? Well, one never knows what the future will unfold, but at this time, the Usher's Guild will remain strictly active progeny members, meaning you have to wear the HUD in the progeny system and play an active role of either a vampire or Therian. Um, so, I mean, familiars are a little bit limited on where they can go and what they can do, but we will help them and include them the best we can. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. And also the PLS, the Progeny Legal System, I have heard um, that sometimes they use, I don't want to say punishment, but the Usher Guild to be an usher and work for you all as... I guess punishment. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, they someone tried to uh, someone tried to introduce that to the Usher Guild, and it didn't quite pan out the way it was supposed to. Um, so our involvement with the progeny legal system is solely to get people to where they need to go upon request. We can guide them to the many holes of that are available in the rooms of the PLS site. So. Okay. Okay, like during the trials and all that stuff, mm -hmm. take them up. That's okay. right. Cool, okay. Hmm. All right, so now, this is a very, quote-unquote, Illuminati-ish kind of question. But um, do you have any exciting new plans for your guild that you can share with us? Anything that's, like, not a secret, I guess, if you will? Yes, we are in the process of developing a HUD uh, in the past, we it was required uh, or asked of our ushers to go out and purchase an EM dash HUD. Well, oh, um, yes. yeah. So um, we're actually in the process of de developing our very own uh, HUD that is very similar to that. Um, so that'll make it easier for them to gain access to information that's available, among other nifty little things that we can do with it. Um, we have an ever-evolving intranet that JT Lovingman has built. Uh, in fact, I couldn't do this without him and Maddie, Eldritch Wolfson. They, they keep me straight and on my toes. Seb and Venus are currently working on new and improved Usher manuals um, that may involve the entire progeny system as a whole. So wow. it's, it's going to be a, a big collaborative effort effort um red's also helping with that um that's really like I said, cool. we we have an amazing uh translation staff um uh, that we've incorporated in uh which ducky kind of oversees that ducky ultra Fernandi, uh and they're working hard to make sure that everything we do in the usher guild is translated and easily communicated with all supported system languages we actually have an unbelievable staff uh usher staff 
that is always growing. We even have several usher positions that are currently available. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really cool. You guys too have a really great team. Your guild is really well organized and put together, I gotta say. And it's growing. I like that. The, um... Yeah, we... I heard it sounds amazing. Like I said, I get lost everywhere, so... Can you just beam me up to <laughs> to the art <laughs> <laughs> slave? Well, I, that's exactly what it is, yeah. Well, yes, I, and I a built-in landmark giver, like, <laughs> it would, I'm sure, save you guys so much time. Like, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Well, it has so many neat fe features, and uh, actually, my arch, Gavin, is has been helping me. He has done amazing things on the HUD, working with me and helping me get it... Um, made and ready for to send it out to our ushers so i can't thank him enough he's done an amazing job that's fantastic he's very good at that stuff mm -hmm. he is well and and it's funny you took the word the words right out of my right out of my mouth because the um the HUD idea, it'll probably free up a lot of time for you to also do other things with the people. So, I love it. It's going to be very productive. Absolutely, yes. A lot less skeletons. <laughs> yeah, that's our goal. <laughs> yes. Well, Lady Sin, it has been a real pleasure to have you with us here. And we cannot thank you enough. Do you have any parting words or anything you'd like to say to the community before we bid you farewell? Yes, absolutely. The Progeny Esther's Guild is an amazing opportunity for anybody that's willing to learn and be a team player. We are the first point of contact for many of the realm, and we get to go to all the cool parties and events, as I said before. Um, we have a lot of fun, and we have a tight-knit little community. So if you're looking for something that is exciting and ever-changing, come and meet up with a recruiter and uh, drop us an application. There is always something going on. Uh, keep in mind, the Usher Guild also is available for private events by submitting an event request form and contacting any Usher. And on a side note, those that are thinking of joining the Guild, I know Diabolic Antonia is absolutely terrifying. I just want everybody to know... <laughs> It is on the very rare occasion that she does eat an usher. So you should be safe for the most part. <laughs> Lady Sandra, you still have your eyeballs? <laughs> I do for now. <laughs> wow. See, there you go, folks. Come on. This is a great opportunity to, uh, you know, rub fangs, if you will, with some famous vampires and events, get to know people, socialize, and you know, do a community service. So this is very exciting. We love the Usher's Guild. Most You're doing definitely. a great job. And you know what they call well, eyeballs, right? Like no. Vampire <laughs> escargot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Behave you. <laughs> well, thank you guys for having me on. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. It's been great. And we hope that you'll come back and visit us after you get the HUD and explain more about that to the community. We would love to have you back. Absolutely. I would be honored. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Happy fall, y'all. It's Maybon. Happy Maybon. Okay, Craig. <laughs> close it, it, close it up there. <laughs> Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And as my amazing wife said, it's fall, y'all. So we got some great upcoming episodes. So stay tuned. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful evening. Good night, y'all. <laughs>